assalamu alaikum warahmatullah we will continue today with our topic of file structure of windows we looked into the windows explorer we had the concept of folder the directories the path and path name we also have uh, these things covered like desktop the taskbar icon start buttons shortcuts etc recycle bin my computer start menu so only thing that we are left off with is this control panel where you can basically see the programs that are installed in your computer and those you want to remove but before that we will continue with our uh, previous topic of file structure what we had learned earlier was that uh, there is this hard disk which is divided into different kinds of partitions like in this case we have a C drive and a D drive and E and a Z drive particularly if you open up a drive you'll find out different kinds of folders which is apparent from this um, this graphical representation here like these yellow uh, yellow uh, containers and then we have these files we can also change how the uh, how they are viewed to us we can go into the view menu and then there is this different kinds of layouts and that you can choose depending upon your own preference so you can go to details and in the details you can see that there these all are folders by the fact that they are of type file folder and the rest of them they are files because uh, because first they have different kinds of file formats and uh, depending upon what kind of file we have in our system and um, there are probably many different types of files we will today be discussing about those different kinds of file formats that we have so that we get to know that how a file is basically uh, how a file is opened into an application and how does an application know that uh, this file has to be opened basically whenever you open uh, you create a file in a windows operating system you end up with having an extension so if you go into the properties of this uh, file you'll see in, in the general tab I told you last time that this these are called as tabs and this is a dialog box because it doesn't open like a window uh, and it is just meant to provide some information so this dialog box additionally has these different tabs to give different information about the same file so in this general tab you'll see that the first thing that we have is the name of the file now the windows operating system has a file name in two parts one is called as a file name that is here a o w underscore uh, d r v and another is the type of the file that is the extension so to get a clearer view let us create a file of our own and look at the extension and the file name so let us go to the desktop right click here and there is this uh, right click menu and this option here that is new as soon as you hover your mouse over this new command you'll see that there is this arrow meaning that there is the sub menu at attached with it so you see other functions like the refresh or undo delete or etc they don't have any arrows meaning that there is no sub menu what will happen is clicking such commands which don't have arrows will directly take us to the function of that command but those which have those arrows will open up in a sub menu like if we have this view then you can have this sub menu where there are different kinds of views and this view is basically applicable to the icons of this desktop suppose if I go to the view and I click on different commands here like a view of type say currently it is small icons because this is what is selected I can go for medium icons and you can see the size of icons changing similarly I can go with large icons and we can have those large icons it depends upon the choice of the user and probably uh, there are people uh, who actually like reading out large text on the screen so depending upon the preference you can choose your different kind of icons uh, sizes icon waves now you see that uh, as soon as I change the view uh, of the 
icon from uh, a large small icon to a large icon the icons were scattered and then they didn't uh, they don't uh, they didn't rest restore to their original position so what we could do here is that we could sort them say suppose there are four uh, options here so we can we could sort them by name that means they will be sorted by name or by the size depending upon the size of the folder or the uh, file and then the item type depending upon the type of the file if it's a file if it's an application or if it's, it's a uh, suppose if it's a pdf file or a, uh, do, a doc file which we have to learn about different kinds of files and the date modified when you last modified the file or the folder so suppose we choose by the item type so we will sort the icons by item type so as soon as i click item type you see that these are sorted in terms of their type suppose these three icons here these four icons here they are all of type uh, system icons as i told you in the very beginning of uh, this introduction to desktop uh, that these are icons which are system icons and that is where they have been placed uh, first so system icons are obviously given preference now you see that um, uh, you see that after this um, system icons we have these different um, different kinds of arrangements then now um, then we have this folder here then we have this control panel and that then we have these image files here so the the type of the files is image so you see that first we will have image files then we have those excel files then we have those uh, what you call as the uh, word files and similarly then the screenshots etc or the pdf files and and like so then we have those applications and this is this is the way the arrangement is done now if we're talking about creating a new file so if we go to this new menu and we point out the sub menu you will see different kinds of options here now this kind of menu will depend upon uh, the system and it will va vary from system to system suppose here when you go to the new you see those you can create what what other things you could create is uh, is actually present in the menu that means you you could actually create a folder now every windows machine irrespective of the user irrespective of the choice of the user will have a folder option because folder is the basic entity here so everybody will have a folder everybody will have a shortcut but now after this we have this microsoft access database similarly we have this microsoft word document microsoft powerpoint presentation microsoft publisher and microsoft excel worksheet these options will vary because if there is a system and it does not have a microsoft office installed then this option will be missing so you won't find these options if microsoft office is missing or uh, there is another uh, office package installed instead of a microsoft suppose there is a open source um, software package uh, which is a replacement of microsoft that is libre office that you can uh, that at that time you will have the options of that libre word document and libre presentation etc similarly we have other options as well and th there are some basic ones like those folder and the shortcut and this text document and there are those which will depend upon the uh, preference of the user that means whatever he has installed on the machine accordingly you will have a new option so we will here choose this text document so we are creating a file of type text so notice when i click on it it will ask me for a file name it won't ask me for the extension as i told you earlier that a file in windows will have two parts it will have a file name and it will have a file extension file name is for the user and extension is for the operating system file name is by which the user tomorrow or someday later may identify his file with or maybe he will come after a year and he will need the file so it is this file name which will help the user identify his own file but then there is this extension part the extension part is used by the operating system 
this is the way that operating system knows that a user has created a file but what is the application what is the application that is required to open this file now remember one thing that whenever a file is created it has to be opened by an application that, that means an application needs to be present in the system which is uh, required to open this file suppose if you have a new mobile purchased and you don't have a PDF uh, reader like you see in um, um, I see this problem uh, with my colleagues every often now so they get these PDF files or some new version of a new extension of files and they are unable to open that file the problem is that the software that the application that is required to open that file is not present in the system and operating system has no other way of opening the file uh, opening that kind of file so it will ask the user to install an application which is compatible and which is able to open this file so similarly if we have this text file so it will ask it is here asking me for the name so suppose for uh, this um, assumption purposes we will take the name of the file as temporary and it's it's just pressing the enter and here we have this text file which is named as temporary now before I put some text into it if I double click it you see there are no contents in the file the names of the file is temporary and the application in which it is opened is called notepad now the left side of the of this title bar will denote the file name and the right side will denote the application in which it is opened so that means by default operating system knows any text file is opened by notepad unless the user chooses any other uh, temp, uh, any other installed uh, uh, application of his own choice by default notepad is the uh, application which is required to open any kind of text file now before i put the contents of uh, this file so let let me check the properties of this file so if we go into the properties now the file name is temporary as we saw earlier the type of the file is .txt there is a dot here .txt so the basically the file name is temporary .txt okay so it is temporary .txt temporary is the identification of the file for the user and .txt is the identification of the type of the file so that it knows which kind of application uh, to open it into so this is for the operating system so look that the operating system has already mentioned that this file will open with notepad you can change it as I told you earlier if you if your preferences are different so you can use a different uh, uh, different text editor to change it so like it is already giving me certain options like wordpad is one installed application in this system that can be used to open this kind of file now it is giving preference to notepad because this is by default you can change it or you can look for more apps or possibly you can install a, a new app first and then you will see options uh, uh, here added so this is the type of the file and this is the application it will open with now then we have the location this is this is the path that is in your syllabus here here we have this path we have this path and path name so you will see that this path and the path name is basically the location so this location of this file temporary is desktop so it is basically present on the desktop desktop is a subfolder of this Uzerbi. Uzerbi is basically the username so you can see the users will cut user different kind of users on on this system uh, one of the users is Uzerbi. so because this is this is my own system uh, my personal system so you will find only one user here basically windows is a multi user operating system so you can have 10 users uh, in a single system and every user will be a part of this user directory and then we have these different kinds of users and depending upon what desktop you are in that means what user you have uh, logged into the user here will change so the desktop of different users will be different 
and all those users will be a part of this user folder which is basically present in our c drive notice that c drive is our windows drive as i have already talked about because there is this windows logos uh, logo and there is also this windows folder here that that actually denotes that this is a windows drive so on the c drive there is a folder user uh, users which has a folder subfolder b which has a subfolder desktop now this is the location of the file this is the path of the file you can actually go to this path by remembering this path we can actually move through this path so this is this pc so you can go to c then we have to look into users here it is users then we have this pub b which is the user then we have this desktop and you will notice that this file is actually present here so this is the file so uh now we have learnt about the type of the file now depending upon what type of file we have we will have different kind of applications to open that kind of file now there is this image file which which cannot be opened with notepad notepad now this text file text file is always opened by text editor editor the the application which has the capability of editing something when we say text editor so it has the capability of editing the text similarly we have the uh, photo editor so we have a photo we have an image and that image has to be edited so an editor which has a capability of edit editing the image then it is called as a photo editor like the paint uh, or paint.net or uh, or the adobe so these are different kinds of applications now let us look into different kind of files and different kinds of fold uh, different kinds of files and different kinds of application so i have created this picture here that will give us an idea of uh, uh, what uh, what kind of uh, basically uh, what different kinds of files we have so here we have this uh, uh, this different format of files now so the easiest one is the text file now uh, the text files the text files can be of different types depending upon the complexity of the file or depending upon the complexity of the applications we have different kinds of extensions like in windows we are talking particularly about windows so if we have a text file that we saw uh, right now that is .txt here so this is this, this is a .txt file so here you can see that this is a txt file so this is one kind of uh, this is one kind of this file so if i uh, if i look into different formats of the files so there we have the txt format the rtf format which is the rich text format uh, and the doc format which was the earlier format for microsoft office and dot docx which is the newest wind, uh, format for microsoft word so depending upon the different kinds of extensions for text files an operating system will decide that there are different applications in which this will open say suppose an txt file will open in a notepad by default an rtf file will open in a wordpad um, by default a doc and a dot docx will open in microsoft word this is by default now this txt file is a simple text file that means you only have simple characters and simple formatting but dot docx this is a very complex text file this has a rich text formatting options and uh, many other options that means it's an advanced text file an advanced text file cannot be opened by a basic text editor this you have to remember so a basic text file can be opened in an advanced text editor but an advanced text file cannot be opened in a basic text editor because that, that basic text editor does not have a capability to understand the .docx so which which means that if you create a file in word and then you don't you go to a system where you don't have word installed that means you cannot open a file on that system which does not have microsoft word installed it will try to give you options like notepad is the one kind of application which may open it but basically 
it won't be able to open it because notepad is a simple text editor so there are different formats of text files many more than this but we have talked about the basic ones here similarly this is this is the type of text file so all the text files will open in their text editors then we have image files image files are also of different uh, extensions so there is dot jpeg or jpeg uh, we call that jpeg or jpg these kinds of files are very um, popular so every time you click a, a picture in your mobile phone or uh, any other um, uh, camera pro possibly you will have this jpg this is one of the most important um, uh, formats for image files similarly we have this portable portable network graphics so we have this dot png format or bitmap format and this is this gif you usually see it in the form of an animation short animation etc so these are different kind of image files now notice that image files are will be opened in photo editors they won't open up in text editors so we'll have we'll have different applications installed for those so like uh, if i can show you an example here so i have this file here the file i was showing you right now so if i click on the properties here you see that this is basically the name of the file is files because this is basically what we are looking right now so the type of the file it says that it is a dot jpg file so that means it's an image file and it has chosen it is my personal preference that i have uh, ha i have gimp which is a photo editor with an open source um, uh, photo editor i have chosen this to be as an um, default uh, like i can change it for you so let's change it so we'll go to change and to, i'll choose this picasa photo driver as the uh, default opener for this dot jpg now uh, notice that this this change has been applied so you can apply this and now every time i open a jpg file it will always open in this picasa photo weaver which is a photo editor uh, tool from google then the we have the location and then we have the size etc so so this is this is this is a different kind of file this is not a text file this is an image file that is a picture and we have those picture editors for those for opening these kind of files so similarly we have these video files now we have different video formats we have mp4 we have uh, this dot mov which is um, particular to ios operating system and then we have mkv this is one other kind of file format which supports many videos and uh, video and audio products and that we have this avi file these are different kinds of video formats neither they will open in the text editor nor they will open up in any of the photo editors we will require a video player for that so like windows media player etc mkv uh, mk mx player in your mobile phones is kind of video player so these are all applications i'm talking about different applications and th these are different applications which will be required to pl uh, play these video files or the or open these image or text files and the most important of them all is the executable files executable files are those files which are executed by the processor actually and these are the files actually we will use to open up other files or perform some function in our system so suppose if we want to open up a microsoft word microsoft word is an application so before opening that application you need to install that application so first you install the application and then we have this dot exe dot exe that means there will be a word word application which has a dot exe format exe stands for executable so in windows dot exe is the most popular executable file so whenever you want uh, to execute any file so you will have probably uh, this dot exe file there are other kind of executable files as well like dot bin dot inf dot vbs so these are this is vb script this is information file etc this is uh, binary type of executable so different kind of executable files let us look at one of the executable files so these executable files we go into this pc we go to this windows drive because all of the applications by default are present in the windows drive so you have those executables present e either in the program files or program x86 as we already talked about this in our previous class so if i go to suppose program files you'll see most of the applications installed here 
so let us go into this microsoft office so we jump into microsoft office and uh, let us locate if we could locate any of the uh, executable here see let us locate the word itself so we'll possibly have that in w so here we have this win word which is an application notice it has a type application application means it's an executable so if we right click on this and check the properties of this so we'll see that this is the type of file which is an executable so so double clicking on this file will not reveal any contents rather it will open up an application so we basically have a word normally we have this word here installed but because a normal user does not want to go into the details of this so we have this word installed here so clicking this here will open up microsoft word as you see this is an app application so this is what opens up executable file gives us this now you can similarly that is the normal naive uh, this is the non technical way of opening the fi file so if you are more um, uh, more expert into the ex computers then you know that there is a, there is an executable here hiding somewhere in program files so this is this win word so if you open this one you will also reach here so it is the same thing but only the technical and non technical portion of it so if we are looking into the properties of this uh, this file so it's an application basically so as is mentioned here it's an application and this application is basically a dot exe application and obviously it's a microsoft word so it's giving you a description so notice that there is not any application which opens this kind of exe because this is itself in it itself it's an application so its location is here so we are actually here you can see here this location and this location is exactly the same and then we have the size and etc so this means it's an executable file similarly we have other app executables present in the program files so you could actually go to any of the executable directly if you don't find the executable here or if there is some um, some uh, if sometimes you delete some uh, options here you can directly go to this folder program files and you can locate those applications from here so this is the executable file now um, now there are different kind of executable files most popular them being the dot exe similarly we have others as well I guess um, this is all you need to know about different kinds of files there are other files as well like there are audio files dot mp3 is most popular format um, usually you, uh, whenever you listen to any Quranic uh, Quranic verses or the recitation of Quran or you listen to music etc you will have those dot mp3 files you can also have those dot amr files for, um, and etc so different kinds of other files also exist this is what I want wanted to touch um, uh, different kinds of files and uh, these are the formats popular formats there are more other formats also I guess for today and for your uh, uh, for your uh, syllabus this will co cover up most of it and um, I hope this is um, as simple as it gets if there are any queries please let me know thank you